Hi, it's Deborah Peters and welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. Thank you so much for joining me. It is an absolute amazing time right now and I'm so looking forward to what's coming for us. It's not just the end of the year, it's the beginning. It's the beginning, it's the beginning of a whole new decade. Can you believe it? You know, I hear people talk about, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's the end of the year already. I can't believe it's the end of the decade. And it's like, I'm so looking forward to what's coming next. You have to stop looking at what's gone, people. Please, you've got to start looking toward the future because that's where all of our possibilities lie. That's where all of our opportunities are sitting, waiting for us. And so it's just like, sometimes it's just a tweak, you know, it's just a, a fine tuning of where we put our focus because it's all about a new way of being, a new building, a new connecting. It's a brand new energy that we're stepping into. And this time right now between where we are at, whatever day you're watching this on, I mean, I'm recording it on the day before Halloween, so All Hallows Eve, um, but it doesn't matter. Whenever you pick this up, it's gonna be the perfect moment for you to get this message. So from this moment until mid-January 2020, everything's getting washed out and you can just let it all go and you can turn your focus toward 2020 and you can really start to ask, you can really start to call in what you would like to have going on in your company, in your business, in your team, in your body, in your personal life, in your health, in your relationships, all of it. This is the time. So start to put some thought into that because as this decade comes upon us, it holds infinite possibilities and riches and rewards and all kinds of ways to step beyond your limits. The, the walls, like the walls are coming down and you just like let your barriers down and let it in. So cycles are completing. This is the end. It is the end of Newtonian physics as we know it. What are Newtonian physics? Newtonian physics is where we look outside of ourselves for the answer. Newtonian physics is where we have to have some kind of evidence procedure before we can accept that we have it, that we've created it already. It's like, well, I don't see it, therefore, it's not coming like that kind of thinking is over it's archaic it's what keeps you in struggle it it's what keeps you in doubt it's what keeps you in fear it's what keeps you you know almost able to reach what it is that you would like to have or to be or to do but it's just like kind of out of reach like it's still at the you know just outside of the end at the edge of your your reach it's just like not quite there all of that is ending you know it's really important as we come through this time of year as we come into the holidays don't just skate through don't just go okay all right i need a rest i'm gonna you know put my feet up, I'm going to have some beers or some champagne and I'm going to, you know, enjoy the finer parties and, and you know what, and then I'll wake up in the new year and then we'll get started. Please, if you do that, you're going to find yourself totally behind the eight ball. This is the time to lay down the tracks for what it is that you are wanting to receive in 2020 and I'm talking about receive so these are my top three new words well they're not new but they're new right now in this context for you my listener my tribe generate create and allow those are my top three right now and then 
the bonus word on top of generate, create, and allow is the word receive. Because you can work night and day and not receive. And I know we can all think of a lot of professions, we can think of a lot of industries that do that. Seriously, you look at every gardener, every housekeeper, every nanny, every school teacher, every mom, every, every dad, you know, that basically are constantly working for others, taking care of others, and waiters, waitresses, food servers, beverage servers, you know, the whole sort of weight industry, if you like, serving industry, these people don't get wealthy. They're, they're basically, you know, just like looking for the next thing. It's like a temporary gig until they get on to the next thing. Unless, of course, maybe you're a career waiter and you've got some kind of equity in the restaurant you're working in. You know, that's, that's another conversation. But bottom line is the grind is over. <laughs> I can't emphasize that enough. The grind is over, so stop grinding. And please stop talking about grinding. Stop wearing it as like it's some kind of badge of honor. You know, I'm grinding it out today. Oh my God, it's the grind. It's like, can you, have you heard yourself? Do you hear what you're putting out there? You know, it's like stuff's manifesting really quick these days. Have you noticed that? You think a thought, you ask, you go, hey, I'd really like to have that experience. It's like, poof, it shows up, you know? And it's in the little things sometimes, just to get your attention, just to see if you're paying attention. And then you translate those little things into big things. Because it's just as easy to create a small little goal as it is to create a massive goal. Really, truly, it is. I mean, the only difference between a small little goal and a big massive goal is your, your, your perception of it, right? You know, that's why they call it a BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal. You know, I've coached a lot of companies over the last 20 some years in 16 countries. And it's fascinating to me how that BHAG always shows up in a fraction of the time of which the business leaders projected it would. And it always blows their mind. It never, it never, I mean, I'm surprised in a, in a, ooh, that's really cool kind of way, but I'm not really surprised. You know, I remember when I first started down this path and um, I got a piece of paper and I designed my life and I said, okay, this is what I'm gonna have happen in the next like eight years. And I made like pages and pages and pages and pages of things that I was going to experience. And then I took all these pages and I deduced it down to 46 bullets. And I tucked the paper away. About five years later, I found it when I was moving in a box. And I pulled it out and it's like, check, 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 check. Everything was checked off except for three bullets. And on top of that, it happened in three years, not in eight years. So this is really a cool time and I really want to emphasize this for everyone, whether you're a solopreneur and you're really, you know, looking to get traction to build up some multiple revenue streams so you're not just relying on one source of income or you're an entrepreneur and you've got a small team and, and you're then you know, you're, you're launching and building and then on to the next, or whether you're a division manager, running an executive at a company, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're consciousness. You are consciousness. And in your conscious awareness, you get to decide who is creating your reality. Is it somebody out there? Is it politics? Is it the economy? Is it the market? Is it 
your colleagues? Is it your board of directors? Who's creating your reality? And when you come to terms with this truism, and that is you create your reality through what you put your focused intention on, then you'll realize that you can just totally cut yourself some slack. You can totally cut yourself some slack because you are putting out there through the relationship you have with yourself is what drives everything. And when you can get that into check, then you become a master of your own destiny. You become the driver of the bus. You become the director of the movie. You become the unstoppable power that you are. So as we roll into this next decade, it's not just about a flip of the calendar. This is really about you innovating, being a disruptor, creating change, stepping into your power, being the truth of you unapologetically. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. So you're not doing this for anybody. You're doing it for your own freedom. You're doing it for your own freedom. And that's really what counts. So I wanted to keep these down to uh, 15 minutes. So before I wrap up, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sharing and liking and subscribing. And do hit that bell. And um, then you'll get notifications as I record more. Also, I'm going to pop in a couple of links for some offerings that we have, and I have revamped everything. So uh, I'm going to pop in a couple of links and uh, you can see what fits your company, what fits your team, and then you can always circle back around with me and uh, if you have any questions, you can let me know. Um, most importantly, I want you to learn to to pull towards you what you want instead of going out and chasing. You know, it's like, do you remember um, if you've ever seen those cartoons where they have the, the greyhounds running the track and, and then they've got like the, the carrot on the stick and like it's just a never ending, it's just a never ending grind. I mean, that's where the word grind fits, is right there. So, um, it, you know, and that is where you're going out and chasing it right? And that is an endless, thankless, exhausting way to build your business. So it's time. It's really time. It's time to learn how to get into alignment because alignment trumps action every single time. And you know, I think you've heard me say this before, I am not a fan of massive action. I am a um, a dedicated champion of intentional key activities that are in alignment with what it is that we are creating first energetically, then in thought and emotion, and then finally in action. And that's what I do for companies. I pop you guys all back into alignment with each other, with yourselves individually, with your value proposition, and your behave. And then we build out the steps to scale. So uh, very much looking forward to connecting with you. And again, thank you so much for being a part of my life and my world is what makes what I do so much fun. So definitely subscribe, like and share, and hit the bell, and I'll be popping a bunch more of these up. And I got a couple of special links down in, in there for you, so take a look at those. And I'll be back around with you really, really soon. Have a blessed rest of the week. Take care. Ciao. Bye.